Hi, my name's Scott Grieve, and this is my chef story. I can remember the first time that I put on my chef's jacket. I felt nervous and excited like a kid at Christmas. But then again, I was only 15 when I first entered my first professional kitchen. Being from Wales is something that I'm very proud of. Pride is embedded deep in our DNA. I remember walking into my first kitchen in Lantwick Major. I was nervous. I was deep in the weeds. I knew nothing, but I was keen to learn, surrounded by the buzz of the kitchen. Gilby's Two Rosette was my first experience of fine dining. It blew my mind. It was amazing to work with great produce and with great chefs. My biggest challenge here was transitioning from a boy to a young man, and I learned that respect is everything in this game. A pivotal moment for me in my career was when a good friend of mine and chef asked me to go and work with him at Jamie Oliver's restaurant in Cardiff. How could I resist? I joined Jamie's at his peak as a restaurant group. I was a sponge. I was absorbing as much information as I could from the chefs that I'd worked with. I was learning about Italian cuisine, and it was my first transitional period from a junior chef to a senior chef. And in this role, I'd realized what had motivated me all along, and that was my family. My grandfather was a gamekeeper, my nan an avid baker, and my father was in the catering industry. So food had always been prominent in my life. Touching down in Australia, I can remember the connection with the land and the sea instantly. It was like a home from home. It was here where I was introduced to Seagrass Boutique Hospitality Group. Again, another big company with a lot of goals in mind. It was here where I'd start my journey at Six Head, which represents some of the best red meat and seafood that Australia has to offer. The empowering thing for me as a chef is to build a kitchen brigade based on love and respect and also work with the best producers that care about the land and also the sea. But for myself one day, I would love to open a small intimate dining venue, serving cracking wines and food made with love. The piece of advice I'd give to today's apprentice is never ask too many questions, absorb as much information as you can, and hard work always beats talent when talent doesn't work hard.